I mean, it's gotta be Priscilla. She's the only one who's not here. Look, maybe, maybe not. We thought Muriel was the killer, and look how that turned out. We have no proof of anything. Is this the latest you've ever stayed up? This is the latest I've ever stayed up. Oh, no. Someone's taken Mr. Wood's Golden Globe. She's right. There was a Golden Globe Award here, and it's gone. I think we may have identified our blunt object. It's very important award. No, no, I, no I, actually, if, if I can clarify this, it's not a very important award, okay? Here's how the Golden Globes work. You want a Golden Globe? All you gotta do is take a member of the foreign press out to lunch and they'll vote for you. Hmm? That's all you gotta do. And, and, and there's only like 30 guys in the foreign press, so it's, it's, it's relatively easy to buy one of those things, okay? You, you with me, America? You with me? So let's, let's all just shut the fuck up about the prestige of these damn things, because it's just, it, it's a sale, you know? I mean, you might as well walk into a Zales and say, hey, file me up one of these and I'll pay you the price of a bacon burger, okay? Uh, we, we all clear on, on what the Golden Globes are, all right? Now, that said, if anyone from the Paris Observer would like to have lunch, it's on me. <laughs> so all we have to do is find that Golden Globe and we'll have our murder weapon. And if we're lucky, it may just mean we'll have our killer. All right, from this moment forward, nobody leaves the group. Joe's right. Everyone huddle up. Good. Now we're gonna search the house and we're gonna move as one. Anyone who separates from the group, we will assume to be the killer. All clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's do this. Guys, uh, we're stopping at the bathroom first, okay? So if you're not comfortable with me as a person, please circulate yourselves to the outer edges of the group. All right, here we go. Stand back, I got a full bladder. Hey, Peter, I gotta go, too. You wanna have a sword fight? Ooh, I want in on that. Me, too. It's okay, I clean. Oh, boy, we got a problem here. All right, on a count of three. One, two, three! Thanks, guys. Stop it, Peter. Peter, knock it off. Okay, Jew, Joe. Shut up, I'm not Jewish! Well... I think we've learned a little something about our friendly neighborhood policemen today. All right, we gotta search every one of these rooms. We'll start with Quagmire's. Oh, my God! Are those Stephanie's underpants? Oh, Jesus. They're huge! Looks like the crotch got chewed on by a walrus mouth. <laughs> Look, it's got flowers. <laughs> I mean, why bother? Who's gonna see him? Maybe someone in space. <laughs> 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 Come on, guys. Can't we all just be glad she's dead? Whose room is this? It's, uh, my room. You travel with a giant poster of yourself? Yes. It helps me get to sleep knowing that Big Tom Tucker is keeping a watchful eye out for nocturnal intruders. What a ridiculous man you are. Look, I didn't know my room was going to be scrutinized. If you don't like it, let's get out of here. Not till we've searched the place. <gasps> you guys? We found our killer. Oh, now, well, now, wait a minute. That's not mine. I suppose it crawled under your bed all by itself. Well, maybe it did. I didn't murder anybody. Tell it to Mike Judge. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, this is crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What about Priscilla? We have no idea where she is. She could have planted that there. Well, I suppose it's possible. What the hell? Ah, dang it, I got a nosebleed. No, you don't. Peter, give me a boost. <laughs> You're going to jail, Tucker. Like hell I am. You're not taking me anywhere, you podunk cohog redneck cop. Not you or anyone else in this damn town. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> After him. Tucker, make me Swanson. <sighs> J 
damn, he's slippery. Uh, you guys give up? What do we do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. I got an idea. Shit. What if half of us go around one side of the table and the other half go around the other side, and then we won't have to chase them around in circles? Damn, that's awfully risky. It sure is. But at this point, I'm willing to try anything. All right. Let's do it! It worked! Oh, oh, let me go! Let me go, you bastards! You're all gonna pay for this! Just for that, when the movie of this story comes out, I'm gonna make sure Adrian Brody plays you. I guess that means you don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right.